Ladies and gentlemen, the finals match at 184 pounds from the New York Outrage, Brad Fury! His opponent from the Oklahoma Slam, please say hello to Mo Long! We're ready for Real Pro Wrestling's 184 pound national title fight. You're looking at Mo Wall. Grew up on the streets. He still has his pick in his hair. He's going up against Brad Berry, the farm boy from Nebraska. You know what, Brad Berry, national champ, uh, University of Nebraska, where I went to school, my alma mater. He's out here, made two world championship teams, fifth place at two times in the world championships, Olympian in 2004. He thinks he's going to pick Mo apart. <laughs> well, I tell you what. Mo Wall has been blowing people out with that blast double. He's been wrestling great, beat Lee full heart, and man, he's in the here. He's in the finals. He's going to go hard. It's going to be a great match. NCAA champion. I think Brad's going to be able to uh, stay in good position. It's been a while since he's really been in this uh, freestyle position, but I think he has enough ability to fend uh, hopefully Mo off and uh, stay in good position. If not, Mo's going to have an there opportunity. There he goes again. Whoa! That's one point. One point. Ooh, he almost had him for hey, two there. I'll tell you what, if he could dodge the first couple of bullets, that's just where Brad Veering wants to be. Nice. Well, he threw him, though. He should have just drove him out. It, it seems a little sloppy. Uh, you know, he could have driven him out and maybe got four points. But the one thing about that, Brad started spinning, and Mo knew that he didn't want to go out of bounds, so he decided to kind of hold off his attack, and that allowed Brad the opportunity to spin, went back down and got one for being pushed out of bounds. I'll tell you what, what Brad did to lower his stance, though. He did. There's no way you can really stop. You know what, what uh, Mo's doing there, because Mo has such a great shot, has such great technique, you have to be able to defend every type of action from your opponent here in freestyle wrestling, and that's what, you know, the classic style wrestling we're doing here tonight. Only one Greco-Roman wrestler action earned a trip to the finals, and that's New York Outrageous Brad Veering. We're looking at him in the red shorts, red band. He's in on a leg of Mo to all, and he scores two, and he goes out in front, two to one. Wow, great wrestler, great action by Brad Baring. Simple takedown, now he's trying to get a simple gut wrench here that would be for two points. Why do I call it simple? Because this is what we do every day. This is our job, to be the best wrestler we can. You're looking at Luol right there, and here Brad Baring. What Brad's doing here is a nice, simple arm drag right to a single leg, and Luol just gave it up. There you go. Wow, here we go. Brad Berry, not bad for a Greco guy who is not supposed to be able to attack the legs in any form or fashion. Be able to adapt here. Moe's going oh, possibly. Yes, that's four. No, he didn't expose. Oh, he didn't expose. that should be four. I, I don't think so, but oh, we'll see. No. They'll look two. Oh, no. Well, he sure was pretty close. See, and there could be a call. Did he have control at the edge of the mat? That's another call here. Right. Stop. Let's get together. Right there, come it'll forward, be two points. It was actually no exposure. Come forward. Great come double. Forward great double. Mo caught the uh, advantage there. Now he's ahead three to two over Brad. Here, Brad has to come back. Has to be able to control the position in the match right there. He got out of position. Gave up two points on a takedown. Well, this doesn't look like he's going to get any turns here. They're going to be. These are important for teams as well. Oklahoma Slam and New York Outrage, they're fighting it out for second place. They meet each other in the next two matches, this match and the next finals it's match at 211. And if New York can win a couple of them, they'll secure second place. New York, Oklahoma, and Pennsylvania all fighting it out for second place. Pennsylvania Action Hammer right now in, char in front with 57 points. Luol needs to go out and attack him. Brad's right now. Brad's going to get the chance to go parterre or clinch position toe to toe. Brad's dominating the center. Action blue. Here we go. Here's an opportunity. Choice. Oh, Brad poked him right in the oh. eyes there. Man, <laughs> put his thumb right in there. You know, these Brad came together. out there, Mr. Barron came out there, a little poking the eye, you know what, sometimes the finger goes where it shouldn't be, and that's the thumb. Here we go, Brad has an opportunity to pick him up. This is his style. Right now, Lowell. Oh, caution. Oh. Hitting it to him with the leg, you cannot do that. That's what they do in freestyle wrestling. You have to be able to adjust and adapt to new positions. 
right here. Brad's going on top for a gut wrench position. He locks up. He comes up. Oh, yeah. See that? Yep. Hooks him right there. Brad sees it. Yes. Let's the referee sees it. Calls him. Now they're back up on the on the parterre position. Parterre is top bottom position. Brad has an opportunity to pick him up and throw him. Luol doing the right thing here. Continue to crawl forward. Oh, oh. Nope, he goes out of bounds. Uh, no call, the referees, people on the sideline were yelling legs. I didn't see it from here, but they're starting to back up on the feet. Blue over here. Good Red call, hair. good call. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Here's a TV challenge. They threw the towel in. Who's it, who's it gonna be? I think Steve Knight is trying to get him to get him down again because he did go out and they were in the bonus. You're looking at Coach Steve Knight, and then you're looking at Kendall Cross right there, 1996 gold medalist in the corner with Mo Luol. Here we go. Brad Burring's thinking that he got hooked. Right now, Luol, he says, hooked him right here. Right there. That's a potentially a hook. Brad, see that? That's potentially a hook. Ah, you ah, have to keep your legs uh, out there. Looked like he threw him on him. He threw him on him. Call stands. Oh, wow. That's okay. right. No, that, he pulled him on him. Four to three in favor of Brad Veering right now. We're getting close to the end of the first period. This has been a great first period. Oh, nice wrestling. Whoa. Whoa. That's the end Dang. of the first period. Hey, no love lost between these two. The Greco Roman Whoa. wrestler, Brad, Brad Veering, out to a 4 3 lead. Great. We'll come back and see the conclusion of it in just a moment. We're back for Real Pro Wrestling's second period of the 184 pound national championship for Real Pro Wrestling. Brad Veering, the only Greco Roman wrestler to make the finals of Real Pro Wrestling's national finals, is out in front four to three. What the contrast of two different styles. You know, Luol is explosive, varying, is kind of patient, consistent. Luol wants one Absolutely. big move for four points. Brad's gonna try to pick him apart for one point or a big throw. Brad keeps punching him, I mean, poking him in the eye. Whoa, 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 nice change up. Two. Oh, he went for the one. Smart. And there's the push Smart up. Wrestling. One for Blue. High score. It's all tied up now. There's Mo Luol, Oklahoma Slam versus Brad Vering for the New York Outrage. The one thing about it, you know, going out of bounds, it didn't cost Brad two points. Oh, good move. Good move, Bob. Yeah. Great action. Boy, what a, what a gentleman Brad is. He just got, you know, Luol got right in his face. He just tapped him in the back. Hey, let's go for this action. Let's get it back to the center. You know what? Brad just made a mistake. He forgot where he was at. Look at this. He just says, you don't want to do this, Mo. Come on, man. Now, I don't know if he was saying that. He was just saying, I believe let's get back to the center. Luol with two straight push outs in a row. Brad needs to come back and control the center of the man to get an opportunity to score two more points like he did in parterre position, in the Greco position. He keeps, I think the referee needs to do something with Brad just sticking his thumb right in his eye. Here we go. The action's on the way. Varian is out after there. Varian can't. Whoa, nice! Whoa. That's right. Yeah! What's the score? Oh, no, I think Muhammad has that. No, he has. No. We're going to have Mo. to go in. They're going to have to review it. No. See who says what. Mo had those points. The refs are reviewing it. Here it comes. Tail of the tape. Tail of the Mo. tape. Mo had this easy. Great He's shot. Great balance. shot. Look at that. No. That's exposure. No, that's, that's no. It's nope. during a scoring situation. No, it didn't. Scoring situation. It, he's in a scoring situation. No. Scoring situation. It's a scoring situation. It has to be two. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, we'll wait. His butt hit first. His butt hit first before he threw him, and they he both was, was in. Called continuation there. If you're in the action of scoring a, a wrestler, taking him down, you touch out of bounds, they allow you to continue. After further video review, we have one point blue. Out of bounds after that. That's what I told you. His butt hit first. That's exactly what I said, Rulon. That, yeah. that was an easy listen, call. Listen to the crowd. They don't like it. They like action. They like scoring. They think that Mr. Varian missed an opportunity to get two points. No, Mo took the action, and that's why he ended up in that situation. You know what? The match isn't over yet. Minute 45 seconds left. Who's going to win this match is going to be determined who controls this match. 
Six to four, Luol, you're looking at him right there, Oklahoma slam. Luol's power meter's going down to zero. He's gonna have to oh, go far nice there. shot, drop him out! Brad Varian in the red shorts. Whoa, look at this! Mo is just, that's two! He's on, well, he's all his weights on his knee! That should not be one, that should be two. I think that's two. Good call. I, hear, I see Mo complaining that Brad keeps poking him in the eye. That's what I've been saying here for the last minute and a half. You can't keep sticking him in the eye. You know what? Sometimes fingers, thumbs go places where they don't need to be. Right now, it's called wrestling. Brad wants to know where he's at. Look at how fast Mr. Luol is. He's trying to keep track of him. The first thing he can touch is his face. Well, five times in the eye, Rulon, I think he kind of knows where he's put. I it. have to agree to you. You have to protect the wrestler at all times. Right now, Brad Berry is taking advantage of Mr. Luol, and that's a mistake. There's a mistake right there. An escape given to Brad Vering. It's eight to five in favor of Luol. Motion relax. Oh, Luke, Luol, he's wrestling great, though. Whoa! 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 Ooh. Ah. Oh! Great hustle! That's why you never give up. He just kept attacking, attacking, attacking until he just got Brad to step out of bounds. What a great, great hustle here. Here we go, back to the action. Brad's right on the edge, he has to work in, and he makes a one mistake and steps right here. I tell you, you guys give uh, uh, Barry uh, status like Ichiro right now. We don't, you know, he's just Brad out there, you know. He's... Brad Vering, Mo Luol. This is where Brad wanted to go. This is where Mr. Vering wanted to go. Back to either clinch position or the parterre. He's going parterre position, put him down. Mr. Luol cannot hook him in any type of way. Brad Varian's goal is to pick him up, reverse lift, or the regular body lift. How many cautions does he have? Is it one? Well, it's only one caution right now. These are not cautions with the bonus. They have an opportunity for not controlling the center of the mat. This is where Brad's good at. That's four! Wow! He's gonna go again! Wow! It's nine to nine. Very never quit. He's on top of it. Back in there, he's coming back again. He's come back. Lawal just relaxed. Lawal just kind of gave it to him. Here we go. Brad Varian back in parterre position. Here we go with the replay. Brad Varian picks him up. Right now, it's a battle of will. Who's gonna go? That's a Greco moment. It looks like a gut wrench. It's high amplitude. What Watch it is, it. See if is he hits. His butt hits the but mat look first. at your opponent's shoulders. They are high, high off the mat. Up. They are at least Contact. hip high. That is a four point throw in Greco Roman Brad. wrestling. Brad Varian has an opportunity. Here again, a bonus Brad. position. Contact for 20 seconds of Greco here, gentlemen. Is the team race on his mind right there? New York could win it all with a with a win here by Varian. Not win it all, get second place to Iowa Stockers. Crawling, he's crawling. Don't go towards the edge, bro. You got to circle because he'll get that bonus start again. There's Brad. He's got three seconds. I don't think he's going to get this lift. Okay, 11 Center. seconds left in the period. Second and final period is nine to nine. I wonder if they both want to leave it on the mat. Give everything they have, 11 seconds tied up, nine to nine. The wall and Baron, 100% right oh, now. Look at it here, he's in for shot. Most scored for it. Whoa, look at that. Time, Two. time, time's oh. up. Time, no, Yo, time was up. Yes. Time was up. No points. They'll go to sudden death, Rick, uh, sudden death overtime. Wow. They should call stalling on Brad. He went all over the mat. Jeez, you see all those shots, Moto? Hey, we all have the a, hustle. We have a power meter. There's no stall. It's the power meter. That's what takes care of that. Back up to the feet. No points. No harm done. Four seconds. Now it's a stand-up single. Three seconds left. Luol is trying to drive him out of bounds. No point. No point. No oh. point. No point. No points up. Go into overtime. Oh, Sudden death. First point score. I tell you what, he wasn't on the defensive Bulon. He was actually running. Running for your life right there. Look at these two gladiators putting it all on the line one last time. I don't know how this match could be looked at not being one of the greatest real pro match wrestling ever. I 
tell you, it's a good one. Look oh. at that! That's down! They gotta keep hustling. Yeah! Oh. He gets it out. Look at Mulholland! Mo, he did it! One match at a time, one move at a time, and he's the real pro national wrestling champion. Awesome! He's overcome a lot from the streets to the RPW national title, Mo Lewall. He's your real pro wrestling 184 pound national this champion. Is You're looking at him. Time, by a decision, the real pro wrestling national champion. Got a lot of love for Mr. Lewall. Great wrestler, great action, giving it 100%. You have to love the dedication of a young man who loves the sport that they compete in. All I can say, Rulon, who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> the world knows who he is now here with real pro wrestling. Here's the, here's the action here. Mr. Luol goes down, Brad for a little pick single. Brad's waiting, waiting, waiting. He decides, you know what? My hips can't handle the pressure. I gotta bail out for two points. I agree. Great action, great score. Nice. And I hope they show the continuation of the replay of the dance. That's the victory dance. That's <laughs> Mo Luol, 11 to nine. Two points for the Oklahoma Slam. He's your champion. Hey, that match was spectacular. It's the first time I've been behind like that in this whole tournament. And I showed focus and perseverance, bad calls and everything for both of us. But hey, I was the better man. And I'm, I am the better man, you know. Mohamed Luol, the four seed, holds on for the upset over Brad Vering, 11 to 9. Luol was a man on a mission, taking out the number one and number two seed and two Olympians along the way. He had a mission and he accomplished it. That's right, Rulon. His two team points puts the slam closely behind the hammer and the outrage for second place.